And now it's getting started. So I'll fast forward during the times that take uh, take a while to go through, so that way uh, you can just see the finished product as we go along. All right, so we're loading the Windows files, and I'm just about up to the Windows wizard. All right, you can see it says Windows Server. doesn't really tell us what kind. Let's we'll go ahead and click Next. And now it's starting. All right, so we have the option to do the core, which is the default, or the GUI. Of course, we want to do the GUI, so make sure you choose that. And next. Accept the licensing terms. And choose custom. And you can see there's our drive. Next. And this part can take anywhere from five minutes up to an hour. It depends on how fast your computer is. All right, looks like it's installed, and we're getting devices ready, and just about to launch for the first time. Okay, we're going to log in now. It's got our administrator as the username, and you have to have at least seven characters with one upper, one lower case, and a number or other character. And if you want to get out of the screen until after the guest editions are installed, you just do a control alt and then it releases the mouse. All right, let's go ahead and log in. And take a look. All right, we are launched inside Windows. Technical Preview Server 10. And you can see now that uh, shows the desktop. The icons look a little different. If we go to the uh, Start menu, you can see there is the new Start menu. Looks a lot like the old one from 2008. Click on Administrative Tools. There's all our familiar administrative tools. And of course there is Server Manager, looks a lot like that. Click on Tools there. A lot of the same things. Let's take a look at the new PowerShell. I understand that we should be able to copy and paste a lot easier. We will definitely have to play with that in the coming weeks and months and do some videos on that. And let's take a look and see. And we also have uh, Task View, which is sort of the virtual desktops. Add a desktop. There we go. Very nice. So that is installing uh, Windows Server 10 Technical Preview.